Guys, welcome back. I'm going to do my quick history. I've been asked a couple of times how long I've been in crypto and whatever, whatever. So I'm going to do it. My goal is to do it in under seven minutes. Let's go. So back in 2017, I guess was when it, it really started, even though I had been informed back in 2009, eight or nine about Bitcoin. I was like, yeah, whatever, whatever, you know, typical. Then in 2017, my son was talking about it. And um, that was the point that me and my family decided to go ahead and get into it. Of course, we started like everybody else with Coinbase. Uh, we bought typical Bitcoin, Litecoin, uh, XRP, ADA, thanks to Crypto Crow. I started following him way, way back then. And um, that's when we had the good Binance. We had the real, real Binance. We could get every coin that was available at the time. And before they had to get into the regulation and had the KYC us, and now we have to have the raggedy Binance.us, and we can't even get half the coins like XRP. At the time, we could. And she's back then we had so many different ones. We had KuCoin.com. Oh, my God. It was so many different um, exchanges out there anyhow then after that late 2017 we started getting into cloud mining this is where the big losses started coming in <laughs> and so one example was cryptera it was probably my biggest loss this was cryptera it was cloud mining a lot of you may not even know what cloud mining is it was where you could send in a certain amount of money and you would receive a certain amount of money each day Good example would say, okay, well, you send in $10,000 and we'll pay you um, $175 or $250 a day for a certain amount of time. So I did it with Cryptera in the beginning. I put like maybe $1,000 in there. It was working out great. Of course, you sit there and you're doing all your stuff. Oh, man, yeah, I can make all this money. Okay, this is easy. So I said, okay, well, let me go ahead and throw $10,000 in there. As soon as maybe seven days after I put the 10,000 in there, all of a sudden, China wanted them out. And China was go going against Bitcoin and all the miners because of the energy and whatever other reasons they came up with. And at that point, Cryptera said, okay, guys, we're going to hold everybody's money here. We're going to pack up and we're going to relocate. Yeah, okay. <sighs> we see how that worked. I don't know if this... This is the website. I don't know if this is the, crypt, the same Cryptera that we had back then, but this is it here. Yeah, we know it was a scam now. And um, that was 10 grand gone. But they weren't the only ones. There was another one called Hash Flare. Put $1,000 in, no, $3,000 in there, gone. Then um, Genesis Mining. Put five grand into Genesis Mining. Same thing. But the difference with, with Genesis was, they was, I think they were supposed to be here in the States. I can't remember. It's been so long. Ugh, I don't know. Then after that, me and my son, we got into um, running master nodes. And you guys' definition of what a node is now is not the same. We ran the master nodes, which I mean we were verifying and certifying all the transactions, well, some of the transactions for that particular coin or token. So what my son would do, since he was the computer genius, he would rent the server space and do all of that kind of technical part, how to hook it up and everything. Then dad's job was to fund it, of course. If we had to buy 2,500 um, coins of that particular coin, dad would put the money up for that. And then we would receive so many coins a day as rewards. So one of the biggest ones we did was Rick and Morty coin. It was $2,500 investment and it gave us $2,500 Rick and Morty coins. And when, when you purchase the master node you have to hold those coins in your wallet then every day you know to all the transactions we would receive a certain amount of coins i think we were doing like 50 dollars a day then that lasted for a couple of months and then whew, it was gone there was man we must have ran different nodes for safe coin and sure coin there was one oh god like support the people coin it was so many different ones um and that's what we did in those. And the master nodes weren't too bad. Because like I said, you buy the coin, stake them, and you just receive the dividends from helping secure, to secure and 
um, verify the transactions. Uh, then I know there was some other ones that came along like BitConnect. I never got into BitConnect. There were some other ones that I did get into USD something. I can't even remember the name of it. And then Texas regulated Texas was like, oh, hail to the no. It's not coming here to Texas. And that one died out quick too. Yeah. <sighs> then late 2017, 18, me and my son, we both started writing articles as you can see here. And I published eight, but 38 articles and you can go all the way back. So like I said, I've been in, I've been doing it for a while. So if I go here to back here you can see all the coins. So what we did when the new coin was coming, you could find it in discord. What you would do is write an article in detail about the particular coin. And then they would pay me and my son anywhere between 75 and hundred dollars worth of, of us dollars in that particular coin. So as you can see back here, we have a red for green, green cryptocurrency, discount coin, shard coin, guardian coin. Oh my God. APR coin, ultranatum coin, Z mining. It was a bunch of them, <laughs> man. It, it was, it was a lot. So we did the different articles, but one of the biggest ones that we thought was going to hit was light pay coin. LightPay coin was going to have machines that you could actually go and get. You could buy the machine and like an ATM machine. This is before the Bitcoin ATM machine would, um, was coming out. And it, I mean, it, it had really, really promising uh, future. Because of course, when we go into detail and we're reading about it, we're reading the white papers and we're writing the coin and we're talking to the, the devs about the coin before we write the articles, it was something. Oh, got to pause. Stay tuned for part two.